Hey guys, do you love making crafts and playing with Barbie? Why not put the two together with these awesome hacks? Make the furniture of Barbie's dreams. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up for this video and subscribe to the Crafty Hackers channel for all the latest hacks. Let's go! Shampoo Bottle Toilet For this hack, we're going to need an empty shampoo bottle. Use Barbie as a guide and trace the right height for the toilet. Take an X-Acto knife and cut all the way around. Insert the remainder of the bottle into the cutout part and trace all the way around. Cut along the new line. Take the top piece and tuck it into the other pieces. There's your stand! Now take a cardboard takeout lid and trace around the toilet stand like this. Make sure you cut out two identical pieces. We now have a seat and a lid. Trace the right height on a cardboard box and cut it out. Add cool tape all the way around and all the way to the top. Measure where the tang will go and trace out the seat as well as the lid. Cut it out. Next, round out the lid. With a toothpick, hot glue its center and glue on the lid. Add a bead to each side and fasten it to the seat. Cut off the extra ends of the toothpick. Ta-da! Hot glue the sides of the toilet stand and fasten on the lid. Add a bead on top for the flush and tape on the sides for a cool finish. So elegant! A real throne. It's just the perfect size for Barbie. So cool! Gym suit. Take a latex or nitrile glove and make a cool gym outfit for your Barbie. Cut the fingertips at the desired height and cut all the way across like this. Use the extra material to create a belt. Don't forget to tuck it in at the back. Keeping the widest part of the glove, cut the band in half and cut out a circle on top. Wrap it around Barbie and tie it behind her. Cut off the extra bits. Now Barbie can exercise with style. Look, she can do the splits. Lego closet. Do you also have Lego at home? Create a base like this and build it up. Add a shelf at this level. And then another one. Keep building. Find two pieces with holes and create a rod with a skewer. Don't forget to add the ceiling. Take a few pieces and a paper clip. Wrap the paper clip around like so. And now you have a hanger. Make some more. Aw, it's so empty. Let's add Barbie's accessories and some outfits. What will Barbie wear today? That is a pretty dress. Nightshirt. Time for Barbie's bedtime? Make her a nightshirt from a glove. Cut out the middle section for her neck and a bit off these ends for her arms.
What do we do with these two? Wrap them around Barbie's waist and knot them at the back. Get rid of the extra material at her neck. Wow, this is so pretty. Sweet dreams, Barbie. Dollhouse plants. You'll need some wire and some tape for this craft. Cut about three inches of wire and wrap it with tape, leaving one inch at the end. Cut the tape into a leaf shape. Get some green acrylic paint and paint both sides of the tape. Then cut indents. Wow, it almost looks real. Get an old toothpaste lid for the base and part of a thick straw. Glue the straw inside the lid. Use cool tape to make it into a pot. Ridge it and tuck the extra tape inside the pot. So shiny. Get a bit of coffee and scoop it into the pot. It looks like dirt. Now add glue in the middle and insert the leaves. Fold the leaves out and wow, you have a cute little plant. Barbie has a new little buddy. Barbie Luggage Hydro Drip. For this, you'll need two buttons, a paper clip, and a soap travel case. Add some of your favorite nail polishes to a bowl of water. Use a toothpick to make a cool design. Press the lid into the water and get rid of the extra bits. So cool! And already so pretty! Dip the other part and let them dry. Then bring them together. Glue gun the buttons on top like this. We've now got wheels. Pop out the metal part of the paper clip and glue it on top as a luggage handle. Now Barbie's all ready to go. Where will she go first? You decide. Barbie hoodie. Hoodies are so comfy, so let's make one for Barbie. Grab a small sock. Measure to Barbie's neck, then mark the sock to cut a slit. Now measure just under Barbie's shoulders and cut out two armholes. Ta-da! Barbie's all warm and cozy. She looks adorable. Modern chair. Take an old pair of jeans and cut out one of the back pockets. Get a bowl and mark out the right height for the pocket. Cut it out and stuff it. Then glue the pouch closed. You know those balloon holders? Take the top tip and use it as your chair stand. Add your cute denim pillow. Now, what's missing? Barbie, of course. She looks so happy. Toothpaste cap lamps. Take two caps and some polymer clay. Fill the caps with the clay. Get some white twine. Use white glue to fasten the twine around the toothpicks. Take some more clay and make some stands. Cut off one end of the toothpick, then insert it into the stand as well as the lampshade. Do the same with the other toothpick and now you have two pretty light stands. So adorable! Barbie will love these! Pringle 
Pringles can share. Who doesn't love chips? Now Barbie can love them too. Trace a mark at Barbie's feet and cut all the way around. Cut also on both sides like this. Tuck in the pieces together and spray paint your creation. While it dries, take the lid and make three circles out of felt. Grab some clear glue and glue the circles together. Hot glue the sides of the tube and add pipe cleaners all the way around. Now add the base and then the cushion. Wow, so cute! A perfect addition to Barbie's bedroom. Now she can hang out with her friend. ring on the soda bottle cap, we're gonna turn it into something beautiful for Barbie. Carefully cut the ring off the bottle, then measure it to fit Barbie's head. Fold the ribbon in the center to make it a little triangle. Then fold one side over the triangle. Now fold the other side over, keeping alternate folds until it looks like this.
Now hold one side of the ribbon and push the other ribbon up to make a little flower. Use a bit of needle and thread to sew the flower and keep it in place. Cut off the extra ribbon piece. Now fold a small piece of green ribbon over like this. Heat it up so it holds its shape. Once you've got enough for a flower wreath, you can start hot gluing the flowers to the bottle cap ring. Since the leaves are so tiny, it's better to put some hot glue onto a lid or paper plate. Use tweezers to hold the leaves and dip them into the glue. Glue the leaves between the flowers like this. Isn't she lovely? Hot tub. Even Barbie needs some rest and relaxation. So let's make her a hot tub. Grab a shoebox and remove the lid. Use a plastic container and trace the bottom of it onto the lid. Cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Put the lid back on the box and put the plastic container inside. Now for the faucet. Cut the bendy part from a blue straw. Hot glue the end closed. Hold it together with tweezers so you don't burn yourself. Now glue a silver bead or button onto the end of another straw. Paint with silver nail polish. Glue some buttons to the inside of the tub as little jets and a drain. Now glue your faucets into place. Barbie needs some shampoos and bubble baths around the tub. You can make these by gluing beads and jewelry pieces together. Cut out a piece from a styrofoam container and glue it onto the headrest. Put in some bubbles and add a little jewelry chain to the faucet so you can pull it out like a handheld shower head. So glamorous! Pan and fried eggs. Put some oil onto a piece of aluminum foil and apply two flat circles of hot glue. Then, add a dot on top for the egg yolks. Color the yolks with yellow nail polish. Use white nail polish for the egg whites. Cut the top of a musilette. You know, the piece of metal that holds a champagne cork like this? Cut all the pieces off except one. That's going to be your pan handle. Bend it out and now you've got a skillet for your eggs. Carefully remove the eggs from the foil with an X-Acto knife and put them into the pan. Breakfast's almost ready. Sock clothes. Use a kid's sock and measure it up to Barbie's body. Now cut the foot part off the sock. Cut the foot of the sock in half Cut the tip off the toe and make two small holes for the arms. You've just made a top and a skirt for Barbie. Glue a jewel bead on the shirt for extra sparkle. Shoes. Let's make Barbie some wedge shoes. All you need is a cork. Measure and mark the cork to Barbie's foot. Cut the end off the cork, measure to her foot, and mark again. Cut with an X-Acto knife. They should fit on the bottom of the foot like this when you're done. Don't worry if you make a mistake, you can just try again with the rest of the cork. Next, glue a piece of ribbon onto the inside of the shoe where Barbie's foot goes. Place her foot into the shoe and wrap the ribbon around her foot. Cut the ribbon to fit. Glue the other side of the ribbon to the inside of the shoe using tweezers. Put the shoes on and glue some jewels on top. Cool wedge shoes, Barbie! Remember when this outfit was just a sock and a cork? Faux fur bag. Let's have some fun with pipe cleaners or chenille stems. Attach two pipe cleaners at the end and bend them to make the frame of a bag. Twist together, then wrap the chenille stems around the frame, like this. When you run out, just grab another stem and wrap it around.
Now grab the other portion of the pipe cleaner left over from the frame and weave it through the pipe cleaners you just wrapped. Do this for the whole purse. When you're done, fold it in half, use a chenille stem to close up the sides, just sew it through. Then finish sewing. Before you reach the top, put the stem through the chain. The stem will keep the purse strap in place. Cut off the extra part of the stem. Now for the other side. Now Barbie's got a faux fur bag to complete her outfit. Backpack. For this, you'll need a ribbon, a matchbox, a bead, a hair tie, and two types of fabric. Cut the sides off a matchbox and glue the ribbon onto one of the sides. Cut a small piece of fabric to fit the little cardboard piece. Glue it back onto the matchbox Measure the same piece of fabric around the matchbox. Hot glue the fabric around the little box. Use a hair tie to hold it together. Now glue the bottom of the ribbon straps onto the bottom of the backpack. Cut the other fabric in this shape and glue it on the back. Glue a bead to the front of the tip of the fabric and hold it over the top. Use the hair tie to hold the pocket in place. Who's ready for an adventure with Barbie? Swing! Now we're going to show you how to make a Barbie swing out of popsicle sticks. Here's how. Put three large sticks together, then use two smaller sticks to hold them together. Glue the small stick to the larger sticks on both sides. Make two of these. Glue the ends of the small sticks together to make a swing seat. Use small wooden dowels or kebab sticks for the sides of the swing. Make a large A shape. Hot glue it together. Now use another stick for the top. Glue it to the top of the A and slide your swing chains on the top stick. Glue the other side on. Glue another stick to the center of the smaller sticks to stabilize the swing. Place the seat inside the chains. Let's have a swing, Barbie. House in a bottle. Clock. Want to make a dollhouse clock? Here's how. First, print and cut out a clock face. Glue the clock face to the back of a button. Now you've got a tiny clock that will fit in any dollhouse. Curtains. For this, you'll need a long craft stick. Break the stick in half. Now cut a length of tulle. Cut a piece of textured ribbon. Gather the tulle together and tie the ribbon around it. Hot glue the end of the tulle to the craft stick. Fold the tulle over so it looks like a curtain rod. Do this again on the other half of the stick floor lamp. For this, you'll need decorative paper. Then you're going to glue a craft stick to the back of a button. Stack beads onto the stick all the way up. Mark your craft paper and wrap a big bead or button on the paper to measure. Cut out the paper. Hot glue the paper onto the bead. Use pliers to cut the stick down. Now hot glue the lampshade into place on the base. Candy box sofa. Take a mint or a candy box and turn it into a sofa for your dollhouse. Use a rectangular kitchen sponge for the cushion. Trace around the box with a marker and cut the sponge down to size. 
Now wrap the sponge in a fun handkerchief. Put the cushion in the candy box. Trace and cut another sponge for the back of the couch. Glue the fabric around the sponge and put it in the top part of the box. Such a cute sofa! Okay, it's time to make the dollhouse. Grab a large jug. It could be an empty laundry detergent container or a juice jug. Mark the opening with a sharpie. Heat up the blade on your box cutter to make it easier to cut through the plastic. Carefully cut out the opening. Smooth out the edges with some sandpaper. Let's make a window in the back. You know the drill. Draw it on, heat up the blade, and cut it out. Remember those curtains you made? Time to glue them in place over your window. Glue the clock on the wall and add some fabric for a rug. Place the couch and the lamp inside and let your doll relax in her new little home. It's about the size of a New York City apartment. Lunchbox Dollhouse Here's a fun thing you can do with your lunchbox. Start with some mini plants. Measure a length of construction paper with a bottle cap. Glue the paper around the bottle cap. Cut four or five pieces of thin wire. Add a piece of masking tape to the end of the wire. Fold it over itself with the wire inside. Now cut the tape into the shape of a leaf. Color or paint the leaf green. Do this with all of your wire pieces until you have a little plant. Get your bottle cap pot and put some hot glue in the bottom. Glue the plant to the inside of the pot. And there you go! Let's make another plant. For this one, we're going to use a cork and some green felt balls. Glue the balls to the top of the cork. Add a pink felt ball so it looks like a little flower. If you cut the top off a champagne cork, you can turn it into a cool little pot. Just hot glue a big green felt ball to the top and you've got yourself another little house plant. Coffee table. Use a mason jar lid or a small metal lid with a hole in the center. Trace around the lid onto a decorative piece of paper. Cut it out. Hot glue the paper onto the top of the lid. Boom! Coffee table. Sponge sofa. Cut out a piece of sponge so it looks like a little sofa. Line the sofa with fabric and mark the spots you need to cut. Hot glue the fabric onto the sponge. Roll up a thin strip of fabric. Fold it over on itself until you have a little cushion, then glue it in place. Now open your lunchbox. Measure, trace, and cut the fabric inside of the lunchbox. Glue the fabric into place. Glue some decorative paper on the top. Draw a window for the center part of the lid. Glue it in. Glue a strip of felt fabric to line the sides of the lunchbox. Use popsicle sticks for shelves. Cut a couple of them in half and glue the sides of the sticks onto the lid. Add crepe paper to the window for curtain. Let's move the couch in. Those smaller cushions you made look like the arms of the couch. Decorate your house with the house plants, the clock, the lamp, and any other cute little knickknacks you can find. She sure looks comfy. Photo Frames House. Let's start with a fireplace for this little home. Pull the back and glass out of a plastic photo frame. Mark the sides for cutting. Get a small saw and heat it up with a lighter to make it easier to cut through the plastic. Saw one side of the frame off. Now take a sponge and squirt some gray acrylic paint onto it. Use the sponge and dab the paint onto the fireplace frame. It will make it look like marble. Trace the size of the fireplace onto some silver paper. Cut it out, attach it to the frame, and set it aside. Palette Furniture Get your hands on a little palette and grab some fabric. 
Wrap the fabric around the pallet and mark where you need to cut it. Cut out the fabric, get some stuffing or padding and place it on the fabric. Wrap the fabric around it and glue it in place. Fold the sides over like a present and glue them together too. Next, glue the cushion onto the pallet. Make a few of these pieces of furniture and cushions the same way. Padding, fabric, wrap it around, glue it, then glue the sides. Mini picture. Pull the matting out of a picture frame. Find or print a cool piece of art or a picture. Trace and cut. Glue the picture into the matting. Mini glass table. For this, you'll need corks and a piece of clear plastic. Using a box cutter, cut the four corks to make them all the same size. Next, cut out a piece of clear plastic. You can use one from an old toy package. Hot glue the corks to the four corners of the plastic. Now you've got a glass table for your dollhouse. Now for the house. Glue some wood frames together like this. The cool thing about this construction made out of frames is that you can change the backgrounds inside the frames, transforming the interiors anytime you want. Use another frame on the bottom as the floor. Add your pallet furniture, your cushions, house plants, and art. Now Barbie has a stylish home to relax in. Ready to decorate? Change it up with some fabric and the pallet furniture. Put in the fireplace, new art, and your mini glass table, and accessories. Now it looks like a whole new place. Add some battery-operated tea lights as the fire in the fireplace. Barbie seems to like her new room.
Barbie hair color. It's time for a trip to the salon. Grab some fabric markers, put Barbie's hair over a plate, and brush it out. Clip the top section back out of the way and use the fabric markers to add some colors to her hair. Add as many colors as you want. Brush it out, clip it, and repeat the process with the other sections of hair. Cool hair, Barbie. Lounge chair. If your Barbie needs some new furniture, use one of these inexpensive frames from Ikea. Take off the base, get a disposable plastic bowl, and cut off the bottom. Hot glue the base of the Ikea frame to the bottom of your plastic bowl. Glue it off to the side of the bottom, like this. Glue some colorful little pom-poms together to make a little flower pillow. Toss it into your lounge chair. Now Barbie has a place to chill. Clothes rack. Line up some colorful popsicle sticks. Cut a stick in half to match the width of your lineup. Glue it into place. Repeat with a second bunch of popsicle sticks. Glue the two sections together. Repeat the process. Now glue together three popsicle sticks with a smaller piece that is cut to size. Glue the pieces together like this. Now do the same on the other side. And glue the smaller section to the top. Use hot glue to secure your clothes rack. Cut a kebab stick the same length as your popsicle sticks. Hot glue it to the top. Make fuzzy hangers out of pipe cleaners. Bend a hook into the top and cut it. Now cut a small section from a different color pipe cleaner and bend the two together. Now you've got hangers for your doll clothes. Cool clothing rack, Barbie. Evening dress. Does Barbie have a special party to attend? Make her an evening dress. Just use a couple of black balloons. Cut the tops and bottoms off of the balloons. Stretch one balloon over her waist and legs. And stretch the other one over her arms and torso. Now, use an X-Acto knife to cut an armhole into the rubber. Slide it over her arm. And now you've got an off-the-shoulder evening dress for the big party. Cut out a couple pieces of lace and glue them to the dress to add dramatic effect to the dress.
leather bag. You can turn this binder clip into a fancy leather bag for Barbie. You'll need a small piece of vinyl or leather, a small chain, and some string ribbon. Cut the leather to fit, then hot glue the leather to the clip. Now do the sides. Glue them into place. Clip the chain on and remove the metal handles. Glue a couple of beads onto the bag for added flair. Voila! A fancy leather bag for Barbie. Sunglasses. For this, you'll need craft wire, aluminum foil, scissors, wire cutting pliers, and tweezers. Cut a piece of wire and measure it to Barbie's face. Cut the extra wire away. Twist the wire into the shape of sunglasses. Use a chopstick to help you get the right shape. Measure where Barbie's other eye is and bend the wire to finish the sunglasses frame. Use a second chopstick to guide the frame. Cut the ends so that they are even and shape them to fit around her ears. Cut out little circles in aluminum foil to fit in the frames. Hot glue the foil into the frames. Now Barbie is ready for summer. Juice Card in Town. Save your milk and juice cartons for this fun project. First, cut the bottom off of the carton with an X-Acto knife. Cut out a couple of windows and cut out a door. Let's give this house a paint job. Pick out acrylic paints in your favorite color. When you've got the perfect color blend, paint your house. Use a white paintbrush to cover the most area. Frame the windows with a different color and a smaller brush. Make signs on the front for your neighborhood cinema, library, and other local shops for your doll to visit. What a lovely little juice box town. Eco Puzzle Box House. With a little imagination, you can make a multi-level home out of old boxes from around the house. Let's start with the furniture first. How about the bedroom? You can make a doll bed out of a large box of matches. You can use popsicle sticks to make the legs of the bed. First, measure the sticks inside the box and cut them to size. Then, hot glue the legs into the corners. When the glue dries, flip the bed over. Measure a piece of felt cloth to the bed and glue it on. Measure a wide popsicle stick to the bed and cut it to fit. Then measure the smaller stick and cut to the same length. Measure the wide stick to the foot of the bed as well. You're creating a wooden frame for your bed. Glue the frame into place. Let's make a headboard too. Complete the bed with a cozy blanket cut from an old towel. And make a pillow from a stack of cotton pads. Cut them into the shape of a pillow. Cut the middle section of a sock to make a pillowcase. Place the cotton padding inside and glue it shut. Now the bed is ready. Bedside drawers. 
We are going to turn these little matchboxes into bedside drawers. First, use decorative tape on the side of the matchbox. Cut it to fit. Then, tape the sides. Cut a piece of craft paper to fit the top and glue it in place. Stack and glue a few matchboxes together to create a nightstand. Be sure to glue the one with the craft paper on top. Glue four beads on the bottom to make the feet of the nightstand. Now for the drawers. Glue beads to the front to make handles. Now your doll has a place to store her reading glasses. Lamp. This dollhouse needs a lamp. Got a pen handy? Pull the cap off and cut the top off the cap. Pick out a button. Paint on glue and sprinkle glitter on the bottom. Then glue the pen cap to the bottom. Add more glue and sprinkle on the glitter to make a sparkly lampshade. Now let's make the bedroom. All you need is a recycled box. This looks like a good one. Use an X-Acto knife to carefully cut the front off of the box. Cut a piece of felt to make the ceiling. Then use the box to measure out some wallpaper. You can use any style of craft paper you like. Glue in the wallpaper and cover the other wall with a piece of construction paper. Cover the outsides of the box as well. Add a finishing touch with chenille stems around the frame of the room. Now your doll has a cozy chic bedroom to relax in. Bathroom. First, find a recycled container in the shape of a bathtub. Grab a couple of beads and a bendy straw. Cut the straw at the bend. Glue it in the center to make a faucet. Use a blue bead for cold water and a red bead for hot. Cut a piece of towel to make a bath mat. You can make a sink from a gummy mold. Just cut out this piece. Use a bendy straw to make the faucet. Add a couple of beads for the handles. Use foil paper as the mirror. Just cut it to fit. Glue the mirror and sink to the back wall of your bathroom. You can glue any decorative bead or toy to the wall as art. Move the bathtub in and get ready for bath time. Lounge. Let's make a puff chair for the lounge. First, cut the bottom off of a paper cup. Measure four craft sticks to make some legs. Glue them to the inside of the cup. Now glue some felt pom-poms to the chair. Add a different color to make a whimsical border. That is a stylish puff chair. Plants. You can use those felt pom-poms to make house plants too. Here's how. Recycle a makeup container and some tassels. Put the tassels in the container and add a few green felt pom-poms. Pull the tassels to make different lengths. Next, cut a piece from a green sponge. Cut a craft stick to fit around the border of the sponge. Use the rounded edges on the side like this. Then simply glue the pom-poms to this sponge. Use pink pom-poms to make flowers. Now the lounge is complete. 
kitchen. No home is complete without a kitchen. You can make a tiny candle for the countertop using a tea light. Cut the metal away from the wax and carefully remove the little round piece at the bottom. Cut the wick down and cut a piece of a white straw. Glue some yellow glitter to the top of the wick as the flame. Light a candle and let the wax drip down into the straw. Once the wax hardens, remove the straw with an X-Acto knife. Trim the wax and enjoy! You should never actually like this little candle. It's just for show. Rolling Curtain To make this fun decorative element, measure a dowel to the width of your kitchen window. Cut a length of shiny fabric to fit on the curtain rod. Hot glue the rod to the fabric and use a craft stick to roll it around. Tie a piece of string to the curtain rod. And attach a tassel to the end. Isn't it pretty? Glue a popsicle stick to the wall to make a shelf. Cupboard. Grab your matchboxes. Cut the cover and glue it onto the box, as shown here. These will be the cupboard doors. Measure and cut some cork to make the wood finish on the front. Glue beads to the front to make cupboard handles. Then glue the boxes together. Then cut and glue a craft stick to the top to make a countertop. Decorate your kitchen with a houseplant and a piece of art. Study room. We're going to start by making a desk with drawers. Let's cut a piece of decorative poster board to fit. Measure and cut paper to cover the drawer fronts. Glue beads to the front to make drawer handles. Then glue the matchboxes together. Glue metallic paper to the sides and the marble finish on the top. Cut a dowel to make the legs of the desk. Put two pieces together to make the desk sturdy and glue them to the underside of the desk. Now you have a working dollhouse desk. Decorate your study with a reading lamp and a houseplant. You already know how to turn a recycled box into a study room. Very nice. Wardrobe. Every walk-in closet needs a decorative rug. Here's how to make one for your dolls. First, cut a circle out of a piece of construction paper. Mark the center and grab a ball of twine. Put a dab of hot glue in the center and use tweezers to glue the end of the twine to the center of the circle. Add a line of hot glue from the center to the edge and wrap the twine around itself. Add a few dots of glue here and there to keep the twine in place. Cut the extra twine off and enjoy your new rug. Now for the wardrobe. Use a large matchbox. Cut a cork sheet or decorative paper to fit the box. Press the glue on with a craft stick. Now mark the center of the cover and cut down the middle. Fit it to the box and glue it on. Glue beads on the doors to make handles. 
Now you've got a walk-in closet with a working wardrobe. If you liked this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Crafty Hackers channel. Catch you later!